I L two, nineteen forty six. Red core is here. The bat mod, simplified. And to start, we need I L two, nineteen forty six. The easiest way to get it is through Steam. Right click on your IL2 1946 icon and go into properties and then go into beta. And you want version 4.12, 4.12. Let's locate the game files in the Steam directory. Here's the path. And once we find the game files, we're going to hit control A for all. That's going to highlight all the files. Right click on that and choose the copy option. Open a new window, create a new folder. And let's name it IL2 1946 bat install. And let's open it up. It'll be empty, of course. Right click in there and select the paste option. Now it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to copy over all your IL2 game files because we're going to mod them. And this is designed for newer players. And there's all the game files. It takes a little time. And now we have a game uh, directory that we can mod. So the next step is to get the mod files for Red Core, AKA BAT. All right, so we're gonna go to this location here and I'll put it in the description, BAT 4.0 Redcore, which is the newest version of BAT. And you get it all in one install, as opposed to the many expansions. Now, it's designed for 4.12, and that's what we have here. Uh, it also has instructions uh, for the CD version, the original version, and you just need to add on the mega patch, which takes you up to 4.12. And it has instructions to set your screen resolution, but we're going to do all that in this tutorial. Now, if you scroll down, there's your red core files. And I use the uh, torrent because you get all in one download. Get it all in one shot. And here's some additional instructions. You can get to these later. We're going to mod the game first and then try it out. All right, we've downloaded the files. It has an exec uh, with a bunch of zip files. Make sure they're all together. And then we're going to click on the exec file. And we're going to get this warning. We're going to run it anyway. And there's our installation. Pretty graphic. All right. Just go ahead and agree. The guys at SAS, they'll never steer you on the wrong path. Just a great group of guys that have really done a lot of work developing the game. Now we're going to click the browse and pick our directory that we placed our 4.12, that file we created. There it is. I renamed it to Redcore. And there it is. See, it's highlighted there and click OK. So it's going to stall the mod into the main game folder. 
and that's what you want. It's going to take a little time. I forwarded up quite a bit. And there we go. So it takes some time, but just be patient. It'll get done. And click on finish. We're going to do a couple more things before we start the game. Config INI. And we're just going to click it, open it up with a Word file. And we're going to line up or type in our screen resolution. Whatever your monitor is, 1920 by 1080. And, and type it in there. Um, mine is 2560 by 1440. Click Save. And then we're going to scroll down to the JGSME file. Click that up. And these are mods that you can uh, put in the game or take them out. And there's a lot less because most of these mods are already incorporated in the game. So there's less work. And I'm just going to add a couple of them. They're, they're just splash screens. When you get this, uh, click no. That means it's already in the game for you. Don't worry about it. Just click no. Now we're going to go to the selector. It changed settings. And the original version uh, PCs didn't have a lot of memory. So we're going to up it to 1024 save settings we could start the game from here uh, but we're going to use the regular exec file so that's it there i'm going to highlight it we're going to right click it and we can create a desktop shortcut here or we can start the game from here let's start it up And the game is starting up. There are no issues, no crashes. And you can see the new version, Red Core. So let's take a look at the quick mission builder. And here's where you can set up a real fast mission. And it's got some classic aircraft in here. Here's the original P-51, the Alpha version, the Allison inline engine. Let's take a look at the full mission builder. Uh, we're going to take a look at some ships. Scroll down. What, there is a lot of options here. There's ships. And let's scroll down here. Let's take a look. There is a lot of ships for IL-2 uh, compared to the original game or unmodded versions. And the Battlecruiser Scarn Horse is in here. This is a ship you would have to add on, uh, even to a bat version. We've got uh, the Hosho, Japanese light aircraft carrier, Ryuho. These are all ships that you would have to add on. They're already in the game. We've got the Yamato, the Congo, big pagoda mast, Japanese heavy cruisers. And the Ranger, this was an add-on ship. It's already in the game, really nice. And we've got the Enterprise, look at that. We've got the Arizona class. The Brooklyn five turret gun cruiser. Ajax, that's new. And look at the detail to that. 
Oh, I'm going Royal Navy. Beautiful. All right, let's go back into the quick mission builder. We've got some classic pre-World War II aircraft, Curtis Hawk. Advanced model of the Hawk. Look at all the planes. And we're just on the U.S. side. Naval aircraft. Fleet Air Arm aircraft. The Martlet. The American Rental. Look at that. And the Mark II. All with the British touch to it. And let's take her up for a spin. Just beautiful. Well, guys, if you're new, uh, I hope you give this uh, red core version of VAT a try. It's a tremendous upgrade and a lot less headaches. Well, guys, we'll see you up again soon. And thanks for watching.